It's a warm summer's day and the beetroot children are playing football in the garden. The birds are singing, the trees are swaying in the gentle breeze and all is calm. Until... at 18 Wilbur Street Gardens. I can't say I care for this chef one bit, Poe. He's completely obsessed with chopping up in his vegetables. Oh, I don't know. I thought that aubergine and tomato lasagna we did last week looked quite tasty. Poe, how can you say such a thing? One day it could be one of your friends or family he's chopping up and baking for 30 minutes at 180 degrees and leaving to cool before serving. Great Scott! A call! Hello? Yes? Yes? A stolen football? The evil Dr. Cabbage? Never fear. We're on the case. Run, you idiot! Run! Kick the ball! Kick the ball! How? We've got no legs! You'll never make it into my team with that kind of attitude! Oh. Roll if you must. Honestly, how am I supposed to become the greatest football manager of all time when my team are a bunch of incompetents? I don't know why I'm surprised. You know what they say? Never work with children, animals or peas. Never mind that. We've stolen the pits. We've stolen the nets. We've stolen the football kit and finally stolen the ball. There's no one on earth that can stop us now. Why are we here, Roots? Because, old chap, if we're going to recover that stolen football, we need information. What? Like the capital of Belgium? Or how to make a sponge cake? No, no, no. Information on Dr. Cabbage. Do keep up, old boy. Sorry, Roots. Never mind. No, the reason we're here is because if anyone can give us information about Dr. Cabbage, it'll be Thompson the Tomato. <gasps> Not the Thompson the Tomato who stole the whole case of baby sweetheart from the Radish family. Yes, that's the one. Not the Thompson the Tomato return Mr. Avocado into guacamole just for giving him a funny look. The very same. But he's a crook. A villain. I don't know we can trust him. Let's just say I've got one or two aces up my sleeve. Uh, but you're a carrot roots. You don't have sleeves. You know what I meant. Well, well, well. I heard you toys snooping around. So what can I do you for? We're looking for Dr. Cabbage, Thompson. I thought you might be able to help us, what with your connections. You mean you're a criminal? Yeah, well, uh, I don't know nothing about anything. Come on, Thompson, you must have heard something. What's the word on the grapevine? I don't know, I, I haven't asked them yet. What do you reckon, Vinny? I don't know nothing! Look, old boy, how about we do it this way? If you tell me where you last saw Dr. Cabbage, I won't mention the crater's stolen sunflower seed you've got stored in Greenhouse 3 down by the pond. Hey, listen. <laughs> I said I don't know nothing. Although, if you happen to wander into next door's garden on your investigation, well, that's no concern of mine. There's a good sport. What? So Dr. Cabbage is in next door's garden? Shh, not now, Poe. We'll be seeing you, Thompson. Uh, and remember, if any son of a plum comes around asking questions, you don't know me. And this never happened. I don't understand, Roots. Why do I have to break into next door's garden at night time? Because, dear chap, I've heard they're quite a rough crowd next door, and I thought it best if our presence went undetected, hence the cover of darkness. Yeah. I suppose it also adds to the sense of narrative suspense, as well as an interesting change of pace. Yes, well... Quite. Now, whatever you do, old boy, stick close to me. There's no need to be frightened if it. Oh! Hello there. Hello, donkey. We're looking for Dr. Cabbage. I do have a name, you know. Honestly, some people. I'm sorry. What's your name, Mrs. Donkey? My name is Deirdre the Donkey, as so it happens. Or just Deirdre to my friends. Come away, Poe. It's not safe. Donkeys eat vegetables for dinner, especially carrots. Oh, well, that's very nice. That's charming, that is. 
For your information, I don't eat vegetables. They give me wind something awful. No, ever since I was a foal, I've never been able to eat vegetables. I'm famous for it. Haven't you heard my song? Um, your song? Yes. Oh, for goodness sake. Deirdre the donkey didn't like veg, but she did like oats. Deirdre the donkey didn't like veg, but she did like oats. She did like oats. She didn't like sprouts, cos they made her shout. She didn't like greens, and she didn't like beans. Deirdre the donkey didn't like veg, but she did like oats. She did like oats. She didn't like sweet. It tasted like a weed. She didn't like peas, cos they made her sneeze. Deirdre the donkey didn't like veg, but she did like oats. She did like oats. She didn't like onions, they gave her bunions. She didn't like broccoli, cos it made her knees knockily. Deirdre the donkey didn't like veg, but she did like oats. Deirdre the donkey didn't like veg, but she did like oats. She did like oats. So now you know. And besides, I wouldn't eat you even if I did like vegetables. You scrawny devil. There's nothing good. You. Oh, come on, madam. None of us can help how we were grown. Hmm, that's what they all say. Well, donkey, we're looking for Dr Cabbage. He's been stealing footballs, you see. Well, I don't know anything about footballs, but if it's a cabbage you're looking for, I've seen one heading down the old well at the bottom of the garden earlier on. And an appetising thing it looked too. If I ate vegetables, but I don't, cause I don't like them, as I said, just now. Um, thank you, Deirdre. Don't mention it, my dear. Oh, and a little courtesy wouldn't go amiss next time, all right? Right, Po, we've not got a moment to spare. To the well! Vegetables. Oh dear, I'm not sure about this route. It looks very deep and dark. Are you sure Dr Cabbage is down here? You heard what the donkey said, old chap. We can't chicken out now. Well, if you're sure... Come on, I'll go first. Now, onwards and upwards. Oh, don't you mean downwards routes? That's the ticket. That donkey seemed friendly. Oh, they always do. But one minute it's just friendly chit-chat, and the next thing you know they're slicing you up into bite-sized pieces, frying you in a shallow pan in virgin extra olive oil, and serving you up with a beef wellington and Yorkshire pudding with a 1942 claret. (laughs) Poor old Uncle Bertie. What are you going to do when we find Dr Cabbage? Well, for starters, we're going to get that football back. Yes, but he's not going to give it to you just like that, is he? If he knows what's good for him, he will. Yes? What is it now? Please, sir, can we have a break? We've rolled and rolled and rolled till we can roll no more. That's right, we're exhausted. Actually, I could go on a bit longer, I think. A break? Certainly not. Who do you think you are? You'll play the game and you'll enjoy it, or else it's peace soup for the lot of you. I'm the manager and what I say go, so there. Oh. oh, very well then. Take five. When you come back, I want to see you training twice as hard. Understood? Hooray! Inspector Roots McCarrot. The very same. Seeing the children's football... That's low. Even for you, Cabbage. I don't even know what you're talking about. I haven't even seen a football. What about that one next to your throne? Who put that there? The game's up, Cabbage. 
Oh, very well. Yes, I stole the little brat's football, but I only wanted to have someone to play with. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? No one to play with and no one to talk to except the peas. And let me tell you, they don't call stupid people pea brain for nothing. <laughs> but all that's no longer important now. Why not? Because the important thing now is that you'll never be able to catch me! Roots, he's getting away. There's only one thing for it. Quick, pass me my spud gun. Oh no, please Roots, there must be another way. Come on old chap, there's no time to argue, he's getting away. Yeah, but I've still got a hole in my head from last time. He keeps whistling when the wind catches it. Ho, oh, now! Oh, ouch! Oh, oh, ouch! Oh! oh. <laughs> Looks like Dr. Cabbage has scored an own goal. And so, Roots, Poe, Dr. Cabbage, the Peas and the Beetroot children all played football together in the garden and all was well. <laughs> <laughs>